Welcome, Scott. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, I guess we'll just dig right into it. So uh, in terms of paramutual technology, uh, I mean, I have a general sense of it, but can you kind of break it down for us? Like, how would you explain it to your, to your family? <laughs> you know, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the most basic way to think about it is betting into a pool mm -hmm. or hedging or taking on risk within a pool, sharing risk with the other participants. Mm -hmm. So it was developed originally for horse racing where you, you know, you would have had someone at the track who wanted to make a market mm -hmm. in that particular race, but not take risk and be exposed to which horse might win. So you can collect money from a range of people around you, put it all into your hat, mm -hmm. remember which one of those people bet on the horse that won, and mm -hmm. hand the money to that person. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if there's two people, you can split the money amongst them. But in its simplest form, that's a way to run a market without taking on risk as the market maker. I see. Well, so why, why, and then uh, mutual has the E, not an A. So why yep. is that? Why so it was developed in France. Oh, OK. And so they're, it's their way of spelling mutual and, and thinking about mutualizing risk. French, yeah, they think of everything, the French. But uh, yeah, so, OK, then, and, and then where are we, I mean, I guess, where, where are we currently having, I guess, paramutual technology? Where are we seeing it being applied to right now? I guess, is it, is it the traditional, I guess, racing venues, or is it somewhere else? Or? Sure, so the most common use of paramutual frameworks today are certainly within horse racing. Mm -hmm. But we see a number of possible applications in financial markets, for example, and in other adjacent markets. Mm -hmm. um, in horse racing, the technology that's used predominantly is very similar to what was developed 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not advanced a great deal since then. Longitude takes it to another level by deconstructing events into thousands or millions of possible outcomes and allowing people to gain exposure to more customized segments of those outcomes. And it allows for more customized mm -hmm. order types and exposures. Okay. And we hope to bring the same type of technology to financial markets and other types of markets where you can run a sort of riskless pool on an event where the participants can gain very unique forms of exposure rather than having to find a bilateral match or make a market and take on risk. I see. So I guess, I mean, you mentioned the thing about like non-financial markets. Like, where, how do you, yeah, I guess explain that a little bit then, because like, you've got the usual sort of setup as it relates to, I don't know, a buyer and seller, you know, within, I guess, the way a matching engine would work. How does that, how do you see this being applied in a non-financial space? Sure. So you could still think of it in a way as a matching engine, it's just that every order is matched against the pool. Okay. And you have pricing that updates as new money comes into this pool. So it's almost like placing a market order and then not, not quite figuring out exactly where you were executed until the pool is closed. Mm -hmm. um, and the life of the pool can be one second or one year. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of application, I think if people want to gain exposure to events that don't have an underlying asset to trade, mm -hmm. so like economic statistics and their release would be an example, mm -hmm. corporate earnings would be an example, um, or if they want, if, if we want to use it to price risk around certain unusual events, like a, a good example in the insurance space would be catastrophe bonds, where we think there's a, an opportunity to kind of slice and dice these catastrophic events into all the possible ways that they could occur, all the regions where the event could occur, mm -hmm. Um, different severity levels and so on, and rather than just ensuring a large, broad, specific risk, allow people to gain exposure to more, uh, you know, specific slices of that event. I see. Interesting. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today, Scott. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Rewrite tomorrow.